Hi, I'm Ben Crosland, and this is the first in a series of short videos in which I'll be sharing some hints and tips with you to help you get more from your virus. In this one, I'm going to be looking at pulse width modulation. Now, a quick reminder of what that is. Um, it allows you to take a single pulse wave, like so, and via the LFO, you can get a nice fat detuned sound that sounds like two oscillators. And then you can use this as the basis for a nice warm pad sound. You just turn up the attack and release. Roll down the filter a bit. There you go. Lovely warm sound. Uh, you've got maximum polyphony still with that um, because you've only tied up a single oscillator. Let's return to the basic sound again and I'll show you something else you can do with it. So you may have noticed that with the pulse width, if you increase it to the maximum value, the sound actually becomes, uh, well, it disappears altogether and you've got a silent oscillator. And uh, I like to exploit this uh, by modulating uh, the pulse width with something like a filter envelope. Oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong button there. Filter envelope and uh, oscillator one pulse width. Apply some negative modulation like that. Now you hear that as the uh, envelope sweeps the pulse width uh, back to um, the audible domain and uh, eventually decays to silent again, you're effectively controlling the volume of oscillator 1 by that. And you can use this with the wavetables. Uh, wavetable with pulse width modulation there. We choose something like uh, this. So you've got a huge range of sounds that you can get like this, that you've then got uh, like an attack portion of the sound coming from oscillator 1, but you can have oscillator 2 sustaining underneath independently. Let's choose something slightly more interesting. Um, so there's all sorts of uh, effects you can get just from that, and by varying the shape of the filter envelope, um, you can do a lot. Um, now let's have a look at... Uh, another exploitation of that. This is using um, classic mode again and this time what I'm doing, instead of modulating the pulse width, I'm uh, sweeping oscillator 1 shape with the filter envelope. So that means that it's taking uh, the sound all the way to the spectral wave at the beginning of the note and you can hear that that's being modulated by a sample and hold uh, wave on LFO2 uh, which is modulating the wave select. So we get a nice wave sequencing effect by that. And here, because I'm uh, sweeping it back to silent again with the filter envelope, uh, we just get that effect at the beginning of each note, like this. So you can build very complex patches using this technique. And here's another one which uses the arpeggiator uh, in the mod matrix here, arp input to oscillator 1 pulse width. And uh, let's have a quick look at the arpeggiator pattern. Now you'll see that the uh, second half of the pattern is all set to 64 and uh, in this section the oscillator will be silent, but in this part of the pattern we'll get this nice stepped effect. So hopefully that gives you some ideas about um, pulse width modulation, which you may not have thought of. So it's basically exploiting the silent oscillator phenomenon. Uh, I hope you have fun with that, and uh, look out for my next video, which will be available shortly, and about something completely different. <laughs>